All right, now we know pretty reasonably that the sun and all the planets had to form from the same molecular cloud at the same time. So take us through it. How does this actually happen? Okay, well, let's actually go and look at some giant molecular yep. clouds, which is fun because they're beautiful things to look at. They are the best things to look at through a telescope, even with uh, your own yes. eye. So you've got these clouds, and they have the same sort of composition yep. as the sun, so hydrogen, helium, with all the other elements. Different clouds have slightly different ratios, but roughly speaking, it's the same. Yep. And you can see new stars forming here. That's right. These are all O and B type stars, very hot blue stars. As we talked about in the stars course, that means they're very young. They've only formed in the last million years or so. Yep. So in this, it's, some stars have just been born. They're starting to drift away from the giant black clouds. Some are still forming inside the gas. So this is really an them. active stellar nursery being formed yep. as we speak. So we know that stars form in places like this. How about planets? Yep. Well, let's just look at a few and other pretty pictures of these things. Um, if you just zoom in on some of these newly forming stars, what you tend to see is they're called propylids or maybe blobby things. Yeah. <laughs> and you can see there seems to be a disk of gas yeah. around the newly forming stars. And, and some are darker than others? That's probably a question of whether they're in silhouette or whether they're lit up by something else yep. nearby. Um, here again, you get the star in the middle and a disk of gas around it. So, so we still see the star forming as, again, we talk about in the stars course, but we have all of that other stuff, that other disk, still visible around this central point. That's right. And you can see that this disk is actually sometimes very flattened. Yeah, it is. And again, we, as we just saw as one of our key pieces of evidence, the planets in our solar system are pretty flat. So that kind of starts to make sense, that maybe you've got the spinning disk of gas and maybe you form the planets in there. Yep. And indeed, if you look close, this is with the ALMA submillimeter radio telescope, you can see the spinning disks of stuff around the newly forming star. And what are these gaps? Those gaps are probably where planets are forming. Oh, so what we're seeing here is kind of the planet spinning and almost cleaning up and gobbling all of that stuff around so it. So the sun in the middle, maybe these bands around here or around here are actually where a planet's forming and yep. carving a a ring out of the whole thing, as we'll talk about in a minute. These are called protostellar or protoplanetary disks. Okay. And it's most likely the middle bit forms the star and yep. the outer bits form the planets. Okay.